Hello and welcome to the channel where you can live for cheap and have a wonderful quality of life just as if you spent the money and paid like everybody else. This is called the Cheapskate Channel. And today we're going to talk to you about how you can acquire a home of your own and acquire it for as cheaply as possible. I'm quite sure that you've seen these real estate shows where these so-called real estate gurus come on and are talking about houses that are in the hundreds and two hundreds and three hundred thousands of dollars. Uh, that's nonsense. With a few simple searching techniques, you can locate reasonably priced properties in almost any metropolitan area that can fit your budget. And these are not going to be those mega high priced properties. These are going to be good, decent, affordable homes that you can feel safe and living in and be proud of. Today, I'm going to give you the proper information so that you can make these searches, find these homes, contact the listing agents and or brokers, and look at them and see if this is for you. Well, today, I'm going to do a search in the area which I'm most familiar with, which real estate people call their farm area, and this is Atlanta, Georgia. This is where I am right now, and I'm going to include areas within the metro area and I'm going to say roughly five miles that's roughly just a little bit outside the metro area and I'm going to show you the search keys and stuff that I use to locate affordable and inexpensive properties that could easily be paid for and paid off in the same amount of time as you would pay off a car yes pay off a car which is in the scope of five to six years if you have your proper financing not the 30-year struggle because lots of stuff can happen in 30 years you need to have something where you can have a home of your own and have security but anyway let's move on the property type of house let's look at single-family homes condos townhomes Miscellaneous condo and co-op. Now the ownership of that's a little different because with cooperative ownership, the so-called cooperative or group or organization that owns the complex or the condo complex where the thing is located holds the deed and you receive shares in the cooperative membership. The danger with belonging to a cooperative form of home ownership is if the co-op defaults in paying their house note, the mortgage holder or the bank forecloses on everybody and everybody has to move including you even though you've been paying your note faithfully all that time but for the purposes of illustration we're going to check there just to show you the deals that are there also for you folks who like to move out and live a little bit out in the outlying areas i'm going to also click the manufactured mobile mobile and modular homes or as they say down south, go living in a trailer. I'm going to go to click that also. And over here, we have the other more intensive search parameters here that you need to pay attention to. We're going to go to bedrooms. We're going to select any bedroom because that opens up a wide array to anything they have for sale in an affordable price range. Baths, the same way. Any number of baths, the same way. Just because... A house may have a half bath or one bath doesn't mean it's going to be the cheapest house on the block. There, As you will see in just a few minutes, there are houses with two, three, four bedrooms or more that sometimes cost less than a one or two bedroom and bathroom house. You have to just throw the, throw the search keys wide open for that. House, the same thing for square footage. You may find houses bigger with more square footage anywhere so we're going to say any square footage or house size there lot size the same thing any amount of acreage there age of home once again any we're going to go over here it says show me any because if you limit it to foreclosure new homes that's going to narrow your scope we're going to throw it open for any and everything that's out there same thing up here we're going to leave this alone we're going to, you know, we're going to leave the pending listings open because those really show you the good deals. And that's going to show you 
that you need to be Johnny on the spot and you have to search regularly because when they have good deals out here, they go fast, real fast. So you need to be ready to go out, take a look at the house, grab the listing agent and be prepared to write a contract to tie up the house and also be prepared to give them an earnest money check. But we'll have a video later on about how to acquire real estate later on and how to acquire it efficiently. Right now, we want to show you how to locate the stuff and get away from this disillusion. This, this disillusion meant that houses have to cost a fortune out there. They don't. They can be had cheaply. And to show this, this is the key. This is the golden key that will open the whole thing. The price. It says how to select the price. We're going to go no minimum. That means we're going to show the cheapest house that they have out there on the listing service. And we're going to say two. And we want to go up to the maximum amount that you want to, want to really pay. The cheapskate amount. And just for illustration purposes, it could be more or less for your purposes. But we're going to say $50,000. This is just an illustration purpose here. This is just to show you what's going on out there. Okay. And once we do that, we're going to come down here and you see it's narrowed it down. Look at this. We have 934 houses in the metro Atlanta area that cost from $0 to $50,000 following these parameters. That's a lot of houses. And that makes these people talking about, oh, you need to pay at least a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. That's the medium price for a house in the metro Atlanta area. That makes them a lie. As you see, you got 934 houses out here. That's 934 houses that you can possibly buy up to 50,000. Of course, other amounts might vary that amount, but let's go on to be brief and show you a brief sampling of what's out there. And let's just let the thing cycle around a little bit. And we're going to take a look here and I'm going to copy each one of them here and open up a new uh, and, and, and examine them in a new window and show you what's going on here. Just like this one, Avon Avenue in Atlanta. And that's over near the Oakland City train station. If you want to ride the train to commute, it's right there. The model rail, very efficient, very safe rail line near Oakland City. And also that area is near the new movie studio that Tyler Perry is getting ready to open. Once again, this is Decatur, Georgia, East Lake Terrace. They have an East Lake Martyr Station. We're going to take a look at that one. This house sells for $45,000. Let's go down here. Old Floyd Road, Mableton, Georgia, over there near the Six Flags over Georgia Amusement Park. Very nice area. We're going to go to Mabletown. Here's $15,000 Blair Ridge house, and just from the looks of this house, this looks like this might be a fixer-upper. We're going to click it anyway. It's a $15,000 house. The land is worth more than $15,000. And we're going to go down here, and you see this? This is pending, which means that somebody grabbed it right quick and put a contract on it with an earnest money deposit to tie it up, which means this is probably a really good one right here. It's a townhome condo. We're going to take a look at that. And uh, as you see, they have a $27,000 house here and a, ooh, a nice looking $39,000 house. But let's go ahead and go take a look at these first. And if we have time, we'll go look at the others. But this is just to show you what's going on. And you can go to a site and take a look at something differently. But let's look at the $39,900 house and let's take a virtual tour. This is a three bedroom, one bath house. Going to take a quick virtual tour and a quick look through to see what a $39,000, $900 house looks like. Nice kitchen. Look at this. I always ask if the appliances are included in the house. You know, nice looking house. Breaker box. A word on these few breaker boxes. Make sure they have circuit breaker in the breaker boxes here. A house, the older houses have fuses. But fuses give you a bunch of hassle. They have a tendency to blow in the middle of the night, leaving you in the dark or find a place to go buy fuses because they're hard to come by. Most houses now have redone wiring and they have breakers in them. Let's take a look further on down the line here. That's the bath. This is the one bath there. And uh, as you see, they got a little deal over the uh, commode there. And uh, 
looks like a new sink there right there one of those new modern sink there look it's an up-to-date bathroom probably has up-to-date plumbing in it one of the bedrooms kids bedroom backyard nice flat backyard with trees ah uh, see and this is the back of the house here's your air conditioning compressor this house sits on a crawl space which means it doesn't have a full basement lots of houses in the Atlanta area have both full basements and crawl spaces and some sit on just a slab of concrete but that's a compressor which indicates it has central heat and air and from the looks of the compressor it's pretty new so you know always ask to see the age ask about the age of the air conditioning system and this is a thousand sixty nine square feet which is a pretty good size house and uh let's move on to the next house here and of course oh and i forgot to mention here's if you're interested in the house fill out this information and the listing broker or agent will get this and they'll be in contact and trust me they will call you because they want to make a sale and uh let's go to the next one here Willow Drive out in Decatur. Let's take a look at this one. This has a little direct TV edition network antenna there. Brick on the front. Older house. It's a two bedroom, one bath house. 1,066 square feet. It's just been listed. It's only been listed for 12 hours on this site. You better get in your car and go out there and take a look at it. Let's see. Another look at the side. Let's look on the inside. Nice little house there. Nice antique furniture there that the owners had. This house looks like it was well cared for. Kitchen. Older kitchen, but nice. Nice countertops there. It, don't, it doesn't have many photographs to the house. There's one to the bathroom. Very nice. Nice, you know, nice uh, tile to the bathroom. Let's see. Let's move further. And that's all that we have there. And once again, if you're interested, fill it out. And once you, I suggest that you join a your favorite real estate listing site and save it. And that way you can save a portfolio of houses to look at. Same one here, Old Floyd Road. Let's take a look at this one here. It looks like it was part of a business that had garages on the side. And thumb through it. Looks like it's in a semi-commercial area. Be suitable for commercial property or if you have your own business at your house. Perfect for that, 44.275. And let's move further. Now this definitely is a fixer upper. It looks like it had roofing problems there. Let's quickly stroll through. Yep, a fixer up. You got to redo the bath, redo the kitchen. This is a fifteen thousand dollar home, though the land's worth more than the house is on it. But this house could be repaired. You put ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars in it for thirty thousand dollars, you'd have an almost brand new house. Let's move on to the next house here if we can. And there, ah, this is the condo I told you about. And once again, this is pending. Somebody's put a contract on this house, $50,000. It's a pretty big one too. Three bedrooms, three baths, 1,280 square feet. Has a burglar door on the front, nice little front porch. Let's look inside. Look at this, in Rolling Ridge Condominium Community nicely appointed house looks like it's well taken care of carpeting stipple ceiling obviously has heating and air there's the register it looks like a smoke detector there about little things you just have to look for in there it looks like it was very nicely cared for upstairs nice panel doors there uh, it looks like it has a doorbell there some other little sensor at the top uh, let's see let's move on fireplace there Nice fireplace. It looks like it's an actual one you can put a uh, fire in, which is good down here in Georgia because in Georgia it gets cold in the winter and it's good to have a fireplace off of those rainy nights. They say rainy nights in Georgia. There you go. And uh, upstairs, bath one. There's the kitchen. Nice kitchen. Nice cabinetries. Uh, it has gas appliance and electrical. Uh, once again, bath upstairs. Very nice. Very nice. This is just a view of what you can find out there for searching on the internet using a search technique and finding nice affordable houses. I suggest that you use this technique to find the house that you want and live cheaply and comfortably and as you see from the looks of this house very, very nicely. Thanks a lot for listening, and if you like this video, please like and share this video with everyone else. 
and see you next time on the Chiefs Cake.